Hey everyone, I think by now it is no secret that I'm a pretty big fan of Turnip28 and I already showed you how I built two regiments, my innocent man of the yellow cube, my teeth guys and maybe from my Instagram you already know the cult of the beetroot witch and I built another regiment too, my golden earth apple boys, they are on my Instagram too. So I thought four regiments is quite enough for one game. But luckily for me, in the universe of Turnip28, there is a new game. Swill, the skirmish game of Turnip Be Fun. So you get five to six dudes, gals, battling it out in the dirty factory city underneath the ground of Swill fighting for, I think, fish. <laughs> it's a very fishy concept. And so I want to build a gang. And the cool thing is a gang comes with a tank. So I have to build a tank. I want to build a tank. So I'm gonna build a tank. And I want to make it as fishy as possible. If the concept is fish, well, sign me up. Let's make a fish tank. First thing for me, of course, getting inspired. Looking at Bosch paintings always does the trick for me. And he has some pretty cool fish like this one. So I'm gonna take this as a guideline. Mixing up my materials. I'm working with green stuff and with milliput for this project. Just mix them up beforehand, let them harden a bit and I'm forming eyes and teeth first because these will harden and then it's easier to put them to the fish head once that is formed. The tank is a French tank and I'm preparing the milliput to make the turret a bit more fish-like because right now it's just a tank turret and I need some flesh to form my fish head on. So I'm just blobbing on this big piece of milliput. I could have used aluminum too, but I've got so much milliput laying around, so that's not a problem. I collected many, many fishy bits for this build, like this fish barrel. I'm just gluing it down because I want as much detail as possible on this build. Now comes the complicated part, getting the fish head sculpted and working with green stuff can be a bit tricky. I think it's always easier if you let it harden for a while and if you have some silicon tools or some dentist tools because if you do it all with your fingers, well, you have to have lots of dexterity for that, which I'm lacking sometimes. So I'm just freestyling, rolling up some whirly worms to put onto, and I'm just adding and subtracting green stuff until I'm happy. Here I'm applying the eyes to the head since they're already hardened. It's pretty easy forming a little eyebrow bulge to put over the eye to blend it all in. And that's the whole secret, in my opinion, to easy green stuff. Let some things harden and take your time. Don't over rush it and work with just soft materials. Then you will smush something you don't want to smush. So I'm just blending the eye in. And once I'm done with that, I'm putting in the teeth, which are hard already too. So it's pretty easy, I just bulge them in and after that, some finishing touches and the head is done and it looks pretty good for now. Of course, there are some fingerprints and the material is a bit lumpy in places, didn't mix properly, but we're going to take care of that a bit later with a little secret weapon. So now the tank needs some more texture, so I'm applying corrosion paste for rust effects and of course some earth texture to the tracks because this tank is in use. It's not a museum piece. And to take care of our lumpy green stuff, I'm mixing up 
some liquid green stuff. This is just putty that is colored green, it has nothing to do with green stuff actually. But I use this putty mixed with water to just apply it to my green stuff to get rid of all those pesty fingerprints and uneven bits and bobs so that we have a hardened and very well looking turret. This is something very special. I collected every single hand out of my bits box and I want to apply these hands to the side of the tank because in my head cannon, the gangers of Swill, well, they're collecting hands and for easy storage, they just nail them to the side of their tank. So I'm just applying lots of hands and this is pretty, yeah, unsettling even for me building it <laughs> but I think it looks pretty cool and one fish turret isn't enough to make a fish tank we have to apply lots of fish I got hold of some resin fish and I made a mold out of blue stuff just like I did with my teeth for my teeth army so I just made some molds and copied the fish to apply lots of them. And our main guy, he needs some fins because it looks a bit, well, a bit empty, like just a bald fish head. There is something to it, but I want it to look a bit cooler. Applying chains and getting the ends down with the corrosion texture, just a little secret weapon if you don't want to sculpt something. And then it's time to get the skin on the fin ready. And this took me a good 15 minutes to get it right. But in the end it stuck and I was able to apply the spiky bits on the outside, blend them in to make it look real good in my opinion. Like I didn't think beforehand that I could sculpt something that looks like this. I didn't think of myself as a sculptor, but just trying it out was a lot of fun, so I can encourage you to just do the same. Just try it out. All right, the tank is built and working with green stuff, well, like everything in life, you need a bit of experience to do it perfectly. So I'm not the most experienced sculptor, but I had fun and I think well, it looks like a fish head. Right now it's a green blob, but I can see once I paint it how it will end up. I think I will use a lot of rust, I will use a lot of washes, it has to be dirty, and I think it will be a fairly quick paint job. And then in the end, I hope we will have a very dirty, kind of funny, kind of spooky fish tank. So for dry brushing in the beginning, I'm using three different shades of those lovely Vallejo metal colors, getting lighter in tone and I apply it with this big, big makeup brush. A very cheap makeup brush because this color, it will F the brush up for sure. So this is the relaxing part. This is the fun part. Just dry brushing over the tank with a big brush and applying it a bit more sparingly with each lighter color so that we have a good base to paint on. But we want some more depth, so my usual mix of 50-50 Nolan Oil plus Lamy Medium just brings back the depth and the contrast. And another very useful tool, the Dirty Down Rust. I just smush it on this stuff is just magic in a bottle basically you just blob it on however you like and it will be something cool in the end to bring back some of the texture some lighter texture i'm just dry brushing with the lightest tone again and then we're gonna paint the base coats the tracks will get this German grey, 
some beige tones for the fish because they should look decayed and for the turret my trusty wraith bone as a base for all the stippling and washes and all the other parts will get the base coat too the hands just get the wraith bone as well and I go around the model base coat everything and then to get a bit more of a scaly structure I just dab a bit of sponge on there getting lighter with each pass so that we have real depth in the color of the head because it is such a flat and big space up there so I'm bringing in the texture with the paint applying some dots of all the different colors the tracks get some dirt on them and then it's time to wash everything with this contrast medium plus agrix earthshade mix and this will bring out all the texture again and for the hands I'm using Reikland flesh shade just wraith bone and that flesh shade makes a lovely and very very quick flesh tone for the hands now a bit of a scary part applying a wash to the big head and it's always a bit scary to apply a wash to something that is so flat so I mix it down with water as well and I didn't let it dry too much I got most of it off with a damp brush before applying my highlights my favorite favorite step you just take the lighter colors and it's magic you apply them sparingly and the whole model is coming to life with them but the teeth looked a bit too clean so they get a bit of yellow and then the other parts just get quick washes quick highlights bit of red on the hand bit of an edge highlight of white and beige on everything just to bring it out even the hands every finger gets a little dot just to stand out a bit more and to me this is like the big reward after doing all those base coats and all those washes just highlighting away that's the biggest fun for me it is done <laughs> uh, I have to tell you I think this was the most fun I've ever had painting a miniature. Like it all just came together so beautifully and the miniature itself told me what to do more or less. It was a very very easy paint job. I loved applying all the oils and rust, well not oil paints but oily looking washes and painting that fish head that was something else. Like was so fun it was so funny even like couldn't stop smiling looking at that derpy face and I can just encourage you to make bigger models paint tanks paint planes some people are a bit afraid of that they think like a bigger miniature means more work but I find it's quite the opposite it's very relaxing if you're used to painting tiny things like a bigger thing like this tank so much fun for a change so now we need some gangers to go with the tank and that will be done next time I have some minis on the line they will be very fishy too to go with the tank so in the next I guess episode <laughs> of my little YouTube show and um, you will see me do just that like a gang for swill the new turn of 28 skirmish game and I wanted to take a bit of time to say thank you to you all who watch my videos, reading your comments, seeing how many people are interested in it really means the world to me. Thank you all and big, big thanks to my first five patrons on patreon.com. And I want to shout them out. So Juan Jose Gonzalez, Tom, Ben Rose, Trout Pies and Joseph
Haney? <laughs> Joseph Haney? Thank you. I see you next time. Thank you all. And have a good old fishy time until the next video. And of course, please enjoy these glory shots of my little fish tank. Doesn't smell yet. Maybe someday it's quite fishy.